So this is Ms. Sizemel and we a blood spatter and angles lab. So the first thing you're going to need is some three by five note cards and you'll need about 14 of them because each note card here um, is a different height. So on card one, you're going to set your height to three inches and you're going to drop three drops onto your note card. then you're going to let that dry and then you can find your measurements for it. Well, if you do all 14 cards, you will have to let them sit and dry for a fairly long time, at least a good half hour for them to dry. So while they're drying, you can also be working on the other parts of your lab. So the idea is that you are going to set your dropper at three inches drop three drops, which you are going to measure. Then set at six inches, 12 inches, 18, 21, 24. You get the idea all the way down to 48 inches, which will be longer than a meter stick. So you may end up having to set your card on the floor and you and your partner have to measure with two meter sticks to get to 48 inches. Then once you get all of your drops on there, you're going to measure them. Once they're all dried, you're going to figure out the average and you're going to make a graph. You can either make a graph using Google Sheets or you can make it by hand. Either way, you're going to replace this image here with a picture of your graph. However you choose to do it is fine, but I need a picture of your graph. You're going to answer the questions that go with that part of the lab. Here's the other part of the lab for your walking and your running images. So you're going to lay out a set of three or four pieces of paper that are all taped together and you're going to drip your uh, synthetic blood as you move across the paper slowly for the walking and then quickly for the running and then you are going to get a close-up photo. You're going to get a far away photo of each and then a close-up photo showing the drops so that you can actually see the, um, the feathering and the directionality of the drops. So on your paper, you should definitely mark whether it was walking or running and in which direction you were going because that will show you um, where your drops you'll be able to see, oh, that's what that looks like when that drop is moving. So uh, describing, then you would describe what those drops look like. Then you're going to do a low velocity spatter, which is actually the angle at this point. So uh, I'm going to have a template for you that you can tape to the wall or another clipboard and have it set along the back that has the four angles on it. And you're going to lift your uh, clipboard to match the correct angles. And you're going to do three drops from about 12 inches above the paper. And that's important, the 12 inches, so that it's about the same every time. And yes, you might have to have a partner who's holding the clipboard or doing the measuring. 
Now you're going to put in those diameters once they dry, then you're going to measure those and you're going to put them in and then you're going to figure out your averages as well. And finally, we are going to do impact spatter. So what you're going to do is place a cloth on the wooden block that I've provided for you in our little paint booth and you're going to soak it pretty much all the way through with blood and then you are going to smack it with the plastic well it's not plastic it's a rubberized mallet that we're going to smack it with and uh, your paper that you put out in front of you should then show uh, the impact spatter. Okay, so this is our medium velocity paint spatter booth and our blood spatter booth. And as you can see, it's got sides, a back and a roof so that the spatter does not get everywhere. The other thing it has is the mallet and a sponge uh, assistant. My assistant will now be pouring, assistant, will now be pouring the blood onto the sponge. And the assistant, my lovely assistant, Geneva, will now be showing you the correct demonstration of how. Okay, a little harder than that. Ooh, that's better. So as you can see, you get the blood spatter and you can see the tails and it's going in a specific direction. Yes, the sponge will be decimated after about three blows and that's okay. We have more sponges. And you must clean up when you are done. So you're gonna have one image of the whole panel, close-up drops at the center and close-up drops on either the right or the left to finish out the lab. All right, so that's what you're going to do and where you're going to fill it in in your worksheet.